And if you're wondering why the hell are we all wearing these, you know, <laughs> that's why <laughs> I look at like a prisoner or a Navy SEAL at times. Hey guys, it's been a long time that I wanted to show you this piece of ecotech. It is so simple and it's quite popular in Russia because of all the duchess and duchess is something where you live in the city and then you've got your uh, garden and home out of the city and everybody, if you come in May and you'll, you'll, you'll actually uh, be amazed how many people are gardening uh, potatoes, food, cabbages, carrots and beautiful flowers and I'll do a separate um, you know, film about it and then now like in autumn they are all carrying, the whole summer but especially now they're carrying their produce and flowers that they grew and they're carrying all back to the cities in the, in the trains and in the underground metro stations. It's quite a sight to see. <laughs> um, Russia is like very strong on um, growing of their own food um, and everything, just uh, having gone through war, I think they're quite resilient. But anyway, the video is not about that. This is very popular in Russia. And what it is, is a simple boiler here, which if, if you've seen how I made the shower, it's got the same element. Um, here, you know, you've got the thing, the temperature gauge, but uh, I've put it always on high. You put water through, there it goes. It's starting to heat up. Um, you put the water on top. In a bucket, you got your tap, the water runs through, it heats up, obviously hot water instant right there. Here, it's got a simple bucket. I take the bucket out to the garden straight to, I, I just take it to one place, but if you are really water stranded, you could take it to different plants. If you're using natural shampoos, we are not using natural, it's quite hard to find in the village here. So yeah, we, we, we're not there yet. Why is this important? Sure, for hot climates, you can just run a pipe and uh, straight to the garden and you can, you know, and this is sort of something what I'm thinking, straight from here, take a pipe and, but in winter time, the pipe will freeze and everything will freeze. And obviously, um, unless you, you know, do a proper job of digging the pipe one and a half meters, that's uh, five feet underground. That's how deep the ground freezes here. So I'm still, need to check out the Earthship style tires, how deep do I go with my foundation because the foundations that go here are one and a half meters deep, that's five feet. The beauty about this, you just with a bucket, you take it straight to the garden, winter time you have instant hot water, sure it uses electricity but it uses way less electricity because you warm up just when you need it and uh, of course you like I'm having my boiler there for the shower so I'll just bring that hot water straight here, I don't even need to switch on the electricity here or you heat your water on a fire but it's a really simple low tech which is something you know sure we all want our earthship with proper plumbing and re really I've been dreaming about it for the last 13 years and one day I'll get there but all of these things are very 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 costly and right now with the virus and uh, people losing jobs I think it's important to share these technologies this thing cost two and a half thousand rubles and it's 70 rubles to a dollar so we're looking at uh, $35 yeah that's $35 for the whole thing it came dismantled it, they, they, they forgot to put the screws in <laughs> so I put anyway I put it together with some screws I put some extra wood pieces here to mount it but you know it's $35 this thing it comes separate, this comes off, this is a sink. I would make this out of ceramic because plastic uh, just stains. But $35 with the heating element, uh, it, it will cost you that much to make it probably in USA. You could t take the element from a secondhand geezer that bursts, they're throwing them away, they're full of these elements. Um, yeah, so this is kitchen water. The shower and bath, what they do is they have saunas. They build a sauna and they steam there and they have like a, a room before the sauna with the drainage floor. 
the stove that heats the rocks it's got the also the water boiler so you have hot water there you dilute it with some cold water or some snow um, and then you obviously have uh, hot water for you know rinsing and showering and and then you go into the sa sauna you you warm up you know so shower and bath that you could drop um, a heating element or a little fire with a coil with two things coming in and hot water coming in and cold water going out um, and then outside you have a little uh, coil spiral coil in and then you just or you have a little urn or you have a second hand steel bath that you make a fire and have a little brick it up a little and then have the pipe going just past you I, I built it without the pipe and I got smoked out on the farm but I did have the most amazing hot bath out, outdoor looking at the universe I think what I want to share with you is that there's such simple low-cost ecotech available that I want you to consider moving to the land obviously with what we are discovering with this consciousness integration on our other channel is to have this inner tranquility so we stop running and proving ourselves in the cities that's I think the first and foremost but that's separate you know because without that work you're not even able to leave the city and if you leave the city like me eight years ago I went too big too soon and stuffed up and lost the farm although it was paid cash just because I was trying to prove that I'm look how big and huge I can go anyway that's head and heart work on integration of consciousness on our other channel but with all these things I'm showing you in the shower and, and I made some mistakes on the shower I don't don't deny it and put it out there so you don't make the same mistake but it was still it was a diversion trench to take the water out I'm still going to be digging a proper wetland. I know how much gravel needs to go. And I said it was a temporary diversion trench and that didn't work because it was gravel it was working. As soon as I put sand and soil with that much gravel it blocked up. What I want you to consider is that the Ecotech is simple and you do not need an earthship to move out. You could have access to some firewood. Um, if you're in a cold climate that you can build a Russian stove um, there is a plan that I'm going to be putting out soon to build a row by row mini Russian stove that heats the floor uh, without any pipes because of the pressure and I'm going to visit this uh, developer at the end of October so I'm going to do a nice little film, a film there for you guys and uh, we'll post some plans proper little Russian stove a mini one and you stoke it up and for three days you toasty <laughs> in your home it depends on your weather but we're talking about minus 20 Celsius so super super cold the technologies are there and you do not need to wait for the millions to leave the city and um, the books are out there that we can teach our children with all the PDFs I've got like 5,000 books of this amazing everything you know and you can get these mega libraries from your friends just ask around everything is out there for us to make a move into the land right now it's this just this work with the heart and head which is what i'm going through right now which is pretty difficult it's all here and it doesn't it's 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 really the shower cost me a hundred dollars for everything everything including the tower the the pump the tank the boiler the ins the insulation um you know this is 35 dollars that that's that that's your hot water you know the $135 you've got uh, hot water um, if you do it with your hands that's why it's so important yeah so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up it helps us with Google ranking subscribe send your friends to our channel consider purchasing our water abundance of water training and where well, a lot of these ecotech is there including natural pool and how to build your own water tanks and buy chow filters and drinking water and it's really proper stuff there and uh, this is very much the on a uh, low tech and it's you know anyway the course got a variety of projects that you can tackle on straight away and then of course we've got the dome home training which is all about how to build your little pod or many pods connected together out of super adobe or hempcrete or aircrete bricks yeah, and if you're wondering why the hell are we all wearing these <laughs> things, we're not going to record a video on this. In, this. Um, in the army, they, 
and thank God I never uh, I escaped the army. But um, in the army, they give these uh, a few of these to every soldier. So every single household in Russia has many of these. You know, so we have I think three or four here. So it's not like I'm wearing the one thing. It's you know one is on the wash, the other one is on me, and they're comfy. Um, and um, the cottons, you know, <laughs> that's why <laughs> I look at like a prisoner or a Navy SEAL at times. 